Hi there, welcome to a presentation by CBH Education and in this video we're going to talk about MART regimes. So in our previous presentation we talked about inhaled corticosteroids. Now in this, MART regime stands for Maintenance Added Reliever Therapy or sometimes called the MART Regimen. Now when you're checking prescriptions, when you're looking at prescriptions, if you're newly qualified or you're looking to specialise in asthma as a pharmacist prescriber, MART regimes are pretty common for those who have uncontrolled asthma. They undergo a review with the nurse, the asthma nurse in the GP surgery, and also by the respiratory team if they're under secondary care as well, or local um, community respiratory care as well, depending on how it's organised within that specific locality. Some of the symptoms that may entice patients to be put on MART regimes is shortness of breath, wheezing and coughing and basically it's uncontrolled asthma which restricts a person's normal activities. Now there are quite a variety of inhalers that are used on the MART regime. This table here summarises which inhalers um, have a licensed MART regime and the maximum doses in 24 hours. With Symbicort the S just stands for Symbicort MART regime. So with this patients are allowed more than specific puffs, so if you're on two puffs twice a day, there would be allowed eight doses of their inhaler in 24 hours, some are 12 puffs in 24 hours for Symbicor and Duraspiramax for a limited period, and even Pobumix as well. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation by CBH Education and Mark Regimes. Please follow us for further presentations with regards to drugs, pharmacology, and other topics with regards to pharmacy on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.